Hey there, behind me is my RV. I'm going to show you how to disable the converter. The reason that you would want to disable the converter is if you're installing an inverter. Inverter is a device that takes battery power and inverts it into AC power. So first thing we do is unplug our shore power cord. The converter is the battery charger. So if you install an inverter, you don't want your inverter providing power to the converter because you basically end up setting up a power loop. So down here is my AC electrical panel. So the first thing I do is remove my cover. And this is the converter right here and these wires are providing power to the converter, AC power, and those are piggybacked in with another circuit on one of those circuit breakers. Let's get a closer look and see which one it is. It looks like it's the second one down. That's our main, that's our general purpose one. Somebody wrenched these in really excessively tight. Okay, I've had a little bit of a battle with that screw, but I've gotten it out. It's pretty mangled. Um, so we're gonna pull out this wire, which is then uh, wire nutted to the actual wire to the converter have a new circuit breaker I will install down here. We have a replacement screw that I'm installing up here in this circuit breaker where I mangled the other screw getting it out. I'm actually borrowing that screw from my new circuit breaker. My new circuit breaker is a tandem. This hooks over a little lip on the back and it just slides in over the bus bar. Our, our, slip our wire onto the new breaker and tighten it down. And not using brute gorilla force like the factory did. So what we're accomplishing here is moving the converter to its own circuit Giving, which then gives us the ability to turn that off. And I've moved my converter label down here and I need to break out this little knockout panel. In several parts of this video I mentioned that I'm disabling the converter. What I'm actually doing is rewiring it so that I have the ability to turn it off separate from everything else. At a later time I do actually disable the converter and completely disconnect it from power when I installed an inverter.